Hi everyone. Okay, so I'm coming on today with part two of making this tonic keepsake album or memory book, whatever it's called. So what I've done since I've been off camera is this page here and it's just two flip outs like this using the what do you call them the layered cascade die set and actually using this one as well the memory book base maker set so I'll show you what I've done so I've done that as the back page but I'm also going to do it as the front page so what we need to do is I've went ahead and cut out all my pages now because there's going to be six pages they need to be double sided so you're going to have to cut these out 12 times so I've done that and just cut them out in all the different card that I wanted I've also went ahead and cut out these now this one this is what I was trying to explain yesterday what I didn't understand about the bigger dies because see this this is the actual memory book memory book maker base creator die set and these ones have this open end here and what that does is it cuts out the shape but it leaves this end open up so that you can make a spine and these ones don't have it and that's why yesterday I had to make my own spine but what I've done then is used the biggest one out of that set and cut it out four times so I've got it twice there I'm going to pop them to the side just now and I've cut it out twice in this blue as well and all I'm going to do is take it to my trimmer and you can have it as long as you want it because it just depends on the piece of card that you put in so I've got that one so this piece I mean you could have that as long as you wanted so this would bit would cut out and if you had this on a big long piece you could have it as long as you wanted. It just depends how thick you're going to have your book and how big your spine is. But for this, we're not making it into a book. We are making it into some um, opening flips. Right, so I've got four of them cut out now. So what we need to do is take two of our pages and decide which page I want in the front so I've got this red on this side so I'm thinking everybody's been commenting on this card guys this card is the rosy reflections from hunky dory I'm thinking this one for when you first open it that's really pretty that one and then we'll go for I will go for that one so what we need to do then is make sure that's the right way up. Uh, which is that way, I think. And that's going to go. So, this spine system is called a hidden spine because this piece here is what allows you to attach your pages. You can see on this page, you can't see my spine on either side because you put one on one side and one on the other side and then when it all closes up together you can't see the spine and you can either have a pocket at the side or a pocket at the top depending on which way you seal it so but this one we're not going to have any pockets because we're doing the flips so these are really easy to make guys so that is going to be i don't know if that looks upside down or not because if you put it that way that rose looks upside down if you put it that way that one looks upside down I think it looks better like that. Mm. I'm thinking it looks better like that. What do you think? I don't think it really matters, does it? Right, we'll go for it that way then. Will we? <laughs> nah, we'll go for it that way. Right, so what I'm going to do then is decide what flips I want and we'll go for... A green and a blue so these are going to be obviously like this because they're going to open and shut now what I done did I do it with these ones no I didn't what I need to do 
I think I've done it with A2, is take it back to the Hunky Dory scoreboard again. And I think I've done it with that one. Yeah, I did. But I need to do it with this one. Line it up and just leave about an eighth of an inch. And that's just so that you get a nice clear closure and it doesn't stick. And then again, about an eighth of an inch. That's actually on the six inch mark with that one. So, the reason we've got four is because they're opening and they're going to be double sided. So I'm going to have blue and red and green and blue. So we'll have the blue on the inside of that one and the blue on the top. So we'll have the green and the blue on the outside. Now, I've also cut out these two frames and these are from the Cascade set. So you just use three dies to create this frame, if I can get it off. And it's one, two, three, four, number five, number six and number seven. So you use that one. Then you use that one in the middle because this one just cuts out, cuts in, sorry, to the card. And then that one and that cuts out your complete frame. So that is what I've done with these two. And then just going to mat them on to the front of the flips. And it just gives it a wee bit nice interest. We will be like decorating it a bit more. But before I put this on, I want to go around and put this and you don't need much glue with this, guys. Just a wee tiny, a wee tiny bit all the way around the edge. Like that. And I think there's been a few people coming on and saying yesterday how cool these dies were and they were looking into getting them. Guys, I would seriously, if you like making albums seriously think about getting these dies because they take the time the measuring they just they're just i love working with them i think they give you so many ideas as well there's so much you can do with them and like i said they're just, just such a time saver seriously no measuring or not and that's that's my main thing and um, because you know i hate measuring so this takes all the hard work and all the measuring out it so yeah, definitely guys, if you're thinking about investing in these, I would I would recommend them in my opinion. They're well worth it. So I'm just going round and adding on a wee bit of glue again. All the way around here. Okay. I've had a total, total lazy day today. Um, lay in bed, watched TV, and didn't do much else. I made um, the Slimming World recipe, the barbecue pulled pork. I put it in the slow cooker for 12 hours. So, and it's absolutely delicious. So I'll be having some of that later, maybe. I'll see if I feel like it, but I've cooked that, so, but it is really nice. If any of you guys are gonna try it, it's lovely. And really easy as well. Right, okay, okay. So what I'm gonna do now is this one, fold it over on the score line that we just made on the adorable scoreboard, just reinforce it. And then this one, now we don't need this whole big flap on here because it's just more bulk. So I'm gonna take it down just to about two eighths past my score line. And then fold my score line in like that. It would help if I've done it the right way. So that's going to go there. And before I stick it on, I want to put, I'm going to put this matching um, lace all the way through. Just as a wee tab. It's just an extra wee feature, guys. It's not really, I mean, you wouldn't really use it as a tab, I don't think. But it makes it look pretty. So... We'll go on with our glue, move that out of the way of the net, put this all the way around. And if you wanted to, you could, for even extra picture space, you could leave this entire pocket open at the top and have another um, open end so that you could have a, 
a tag or a you know something inside it a photograph so then we're just going to put the glue over the top here this one I'm making this album it's relatively easy I'm not um, doing anything you know fancy or that I'm just letting the dies do the work so pop that down there like that and make sure you give it a good squeeze at the end where your lace is so that it adheres well but look at that didn't that look cool for a nice wee flip open so that's going to go like that and then what I'm going to do before I attach it is just go round with my dark brown pen Spectrum Mar, this is EB5 and I'm just going all the way around and I've done this on all the cards and it just matches it in because the browns matches the card perfectly so I've been doing that on all of them it just highlights it and then going on the other side I just think these attention to details makes it look so nice and if you're going to spend all this time making an album you might as well put the attention in right now other side do the exact same okay well let's see so that one's going to go that way and the green is going to go that way so i need this to be like that and i can take that piece off because we don't need that take our piece of lace this is a self-adhesive sticky stuff so it's quite good for this and then let me see what's my front so that's going that way so put my lace oops help if I put it the right way that way Glue. And like I said yesterday, this glue helps to harden up your pages, so it's really good. Um, right, let me just make sure this is right. That's going there. Yeah. And then just pick it up and give it a good squeeze. Make sure it's all lined up. And give it a good squeeze down. Do the same with this one since I forgot to do it. Okay, fold that one over. And then go down this one with the pen. The good thing about these albums as well is all your techniques that you use like on your card making and journal making and things you can just transfer them over to this technique making albums so although a lot of people have said like i've never made an album i wouldn't know where to start and things you absolutely would because you can just transfer it over it does seem scary um to start off with but seriously guys easy if you can make a card, you can make an album, I promise. Right, okay, stick that there. Then, bring in our two pages. Like this. And decide where we're going to have them. So that one's got the blue there. So I'm going to have this one in here. And that one in there. So all you want to do is put lots of glue on the back of your tab. Like this. Like that and then take your top page line it up with the score line and then press it down and just really decide where you want it on the page and I just want it kind of central like that and then the same with this one lots of glue 
and then pop it behind and just kind of centre that up with the other one so it's roughly about the same height there and give it a good squeeze down and then on the back we're just going to put on all the way around lots of glue Now, before we attach it, we need to go back to the album here. Make sure that's the right way. And we're going to have to put our tape here on our flap so that we can attach our page. Now, I've just been using this um, double-sided tape. And it's absolutely fine because you've got some glue on it as well. So by the time you glue it, it's more than strong enough with the glue and the double-sided tape. We'll pop that in there. Give it a good squeeze and then take the backing off. Like that. Okay, take your page and make sure that you have your book flat and then just offer it up to that tape at the bottom, making sure it's kind of straight all the way along. Uh, this bit's a wee bit fiddly, but it's not too bad. So you just make sure you're pressing it in like that. Okay, and then turn it round and get you the other side now and put your glue on all the way around. And then line it up to the other side, making sure that the pages line up together like that. So they should line up quite well because the dies are fantastic, they're spot on. And then press it down all the way along the bottom again. Say you've got your glue and your tape on there so it should be quite secure once it dries just make sure I've given it a good squeeze down all the way around okay that's looking good So now you have your front page that is the flip and I will be putting another frame on the inside of there but you have your front page and then your back page that is your flip as well. So what we need to do to this one is again go round it with the pen. So we just go all the way around squeeze it making sure it's stuck and it only takes about 10 minutes to stick down properly and then that's it done but I'm just doing this all the way around the edge and this just covers up any wee bits as well that if your page has to completely lined up like if there's a wee tiny bit of white on it it just helps to hide any imperfections and then let me just go along this bottom one and I'm going round this edge again like that 
these albums are so satisfying to make guys because there is such a lot of work in it so when it's finished it's like oh you know stand back and look at it and think I did that I'm just going to colour the wee bottom bits of this here make sure that's all stuck okay let me see I've dropped my lid somewhere from my pen can I find it? no two seconds Okay, why is it when something falls in here, it doesn't just fall on the floor, it'll fall on a bag or it'll fall, you know, somewhere that I can't see it. I've got it now anyway. <laughs> right, so let's have a wee look. So, first page, we have our beautiful, that's still not 100% dry, so we need to let that stick a wee bit longer. Flip outs, and last page, we have our flip outs. Now... Inside, I want to put something to cover up the white bits that are showing. So I'm going to take out inside this rosy reflection kit that is it's absolutely gorgeous. There's this sheet, and this is the kit here, guys. I got this from Crate and Craft. It's the Rosy Reflections, Hunky Dory, Matastic, and you get these beautiful borders. So, you don't have to use these, you could use washi to go down the edge, but I'm going to use them because they are matching. So I'm going to stand that up like that. I'm going to take one. I'm just going to take a random one, this one will do. One of these borders, like this. And use it to go all the way down there to hide the seam and hide the wee white bit. See what I mean? That looks pretty cool. So we'll just cut it there. Use some glue. Because I couldn't leave that white bit, that would drive me nuts. It just doesn't look very professional, does it? So that's going there to there. Like that. So that looks much better. It's just finished it off. Okay, so that looks cool. And then the back one, I'm going to do the exact same, just with a different one. So we'll go for this one here, because this one's a kind of straight one. So we'll go for that. And that. Okay, put that there, to there, I think that's a bit right, yep, it just makes it more finished, makes it more professional, okay, so pop that on there like that. Doesn't that look nicer? It looks a lot neater. And then we've still got the two wee bits that we can use elsewhere in the album. Right, so what we're going to do now, I think we will look at the front cover because it's still too wet there. So I think we will start doing the front cover and that's not going to work because that's going to have to bend so this is going to have to bend as well. This has came off because it needs to dry a bit before. Wait a minute, that's even not even in the right bit is it? There we go. Wasn't it dry enough? And then this one on the back, I think that one's alright. I mean, I don't think that one has to bend. That one needs a wee bit of glue under here. But 
it's all a learning curve, guys. It's all good. It's all good. So I'll just pop a wee bit of glue under that bit. And this, oh, I'm not happy with these pages. I'm really not. They're just not sticking on good enough. I think I need to put more wet glue under there and stick it with the wet glue maybe. I don't think the tape, but I take it back. I don't think the tape's strong enough. I think it's definitely needing the wet glue just to give it that extra wee bit of hold. Yeah, because at the front it's not even sticking on. But that's all right. Again, this is all learning. I've never made one of these ones before. So I want to do the same on. I'm not sure that's. Oh no, it is. That side's coming off as well. So we'll give it a wee. A wee extra stick with the wet glue. I'll just push that along. I'd rather do that because. At the end of the day, an album's for using, and if it's going to be opened and shot, and opened and shot, it's going to need to be sturdy. I mean, this one, I think the full page has just fell off, has it? Right, it has. Okay, that's all right. Let me just... What I'm going to have to do, guys, is stick it back on with the glue, and then leave it for maybe 10, 15 minutes, and then come back so that it's had time to stick. Because I'm trying to work on it too fast and it's not sticking. So I will be back. Okay, so let's do some decorating now on the front. We'll lie it down like that. So I've cut out this die from the opulent couture opulent set. And she's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So I've cut her out in white and I've also cut her out in brown but in craft card. I don't know which looks nicer. I want to use one of these they're sort of like plaques. So I've got now the only thing about this Mattastic is it doesn't pop it as well as some other decoupage I've used, so you just need to be careful because it's it does tell you on the packet to be careful with it, um, because it's really there's some really really intricate pieces. So if you just take your time instead of trying to go fast and tear it, I'm just gonna help it out with my bone folder. Okay, so I've got this one. Just snip out these wee bits that stuck in. This one here. I could put, sorry, like that. Or like that and then have her mm. it doesn't look very nice does it I don't know if she's maybe too big she's maybe too big a cameo to go on here I maybe need to use a different one maybe second so I've got a few other cameos here I've got this one Penelope, that one's called, that one, this one, Sophia, oh she's nice, but I don't know what size she is, that one, which is Edwardian Rose, or Edwardian Hazel, maybe, I'll try this one, oh she's just as big as well, look, she's huge as well, mm, nah, no that one, Maybe this one. Hi, that one could possibly go, but what I need first of all is don't 
doily. I don't know if that one will be big enough or I might need one of these ones because I think it's too dark covering the flowers against the, the blue background. It's not going to stand out. So let's see what it would be like with a doily first. That one's too big. Let's see this one first. Maybe there like that. And then we could maybe have the flowers over it and then cut her out and she could go there. We could try that. I don't know if she fits in the go. Well, she does. She just about fits through the go. So we'll cut her out. What colour do you think? White or craft? Well, we'll go for craft first and see how she looks. This is really thin craft card actually, it's not that good, it's the one from Hobby Craft, but it's not that thick, I'm not that impressed with it. So let's pop her through, and in the meantime I'm going to stick down this, oh my gosh I'm not sticking down nothing if my glue doesn't work, that's it, stick down this doily. I would say like that and then we'll stick down the, the die cut okay and we'll just pop that there I think and I've still got some ink on my wee dauber here and it's anti uh, so vintage photo so I'm just going to take the whiteness off that doily, pop that down and let's see how she's cut out. Oh my gosh, I'm getting in too much of a goddle here, I can't find that one. Right, here we go. Let's see how she goes. This is the first time I've cut her out. I've never used her before. Oh, she's nice, actually. Let's take out all the wee bits. This card is terrible, honestly. It's no much thicker than paper. This is the one they charge £5 a pack for as well. Usually it's £5. There's no way I would pay £5 for that. Right. And then she's going to go there. I think she actually looks nice. So we'll try. We'll put her down and see. See how she goes. Okay, okay. We'll pop her there. Right, I think she's going to look quite nice. Again, I'm going to go over her with a photo. Can find it. Oh, this one will do. T dye. That'll do it. T dye. Just to vintage it up a wee bit. You maybe don't see that on camera, but it does make a bit of a difference. Right. Okay. So she's sitting there now. Um. It needs like some lace and flowers and things like that, I think. What do you guys think? Okay, I'm going to pull some stuff out. Okay, so I've pulled it all sorts of bits and pieces to see what we're going to put. Now, first of all, the thing I do want to put on the front, and I know I want to put it on it, is in this Keepsook um, 2, you get this Memories die. And because it's a photo album, I want to put memories on it somewhere. Maybe there, possibly there. Yeah, definitely there. So, I've pulled out all lots of other bits and pieces as well. 
but let's cut out this memories die because I want to position that so that I know where I'm going so I will cut that out okay so I've cut it out twice once in the craft card and once in white because I want to shadow it so a wee bit of glue all over and I like this shadowing effect I watch um on her chanda, Jodie Johnson from Tonic, she does it a lot and it's really effective. That's where I got the idea from. So, okay. And just layer it straight over the top, just leaving a wee overhang, she says, but like that. Okay. Rub off all the glue and then look you get this wee shadow effect which I think is cool. So then I'm going to put this on to the book. I need to get like the cosmic shimmer fine tip applicator and stuff for doing this. This big one's quite messy. Okay. And then put that on. There you are. Memories. Like that. Okay. So that looks pretty cool. Then. I've got all sorts of different pieces here. I've got this bow. That I'm thinking goes with it. Maybe put that there. There. Um, I have, I like, quite like this time piece. Maybe I could put, I think it's maybe going to be too much for that on it actually. This is the lovely Naomi that sent me this. That could go there and over there, maybe. Sorry guys, that's Kane shouting on me. Right, so I do, I like that. I'm going to put that down here. So it's going to be like quite a collaged cover. But I like that effect. I think it hopefully it will turn out nice. So thank you again to Naomi for sending me that beautiful wooden piece. So that's going to sit there. Like that. I'll try and flatten this out a bit for you guys. You can see it a bit better. It's not any better. Like that. And then... I'm thinking I've got these burgundy flowers that really match well and I've also got the blue ones so I think I'm going to have some of them but we need to bring in vintage photo and vintage up that clock a bit because it's too bright There we go, that's better. Like that. And then... Hmm, I'm not sure about that bow. I do like it, but I don't know if it's too bulky. I've got some of these flowers as well. thought maybe we could put a couple underneath. I'm not sure about that. I do like, however, having these flowers on it. So I'm just going to glue gun one there with the hot glue. And one there. Ouch. On myself as always. There. 
Let's get another glue gun. Yeah, another glue stick, sorry. So we'll put that one there, and then I'm going to put this one up the top here. I really, I'm going to try and invest in a, one of the Sizzix glue guns, because I can't remember who I was, I've seen buying it, but they said it doesn't, it doesn't leak, you don't get the strings off it, and that's that'll be much better. What about that up there? Or there? Maybe there. Right, I want some of these flowers. One, two, three, four, and I think two of the blue ones. These are lovely because they've got the tool on them. And we'll go for some glue gun here. Oh my gosh, get off. Drives me nuts. And there. And then we'll have the blue one here. And then red one and the red one well it's like a burgundy red and that there and i think i'm going to go with that bow i might regret it but if i do i can always take it off later and just change it I'm going to go with that there and then finally I've got some of these absolutely gorgeous Aurora Borealis beads that I'm going to put a couple on her hat so one there one there and one here. I think that looks nice. Right, let's have a wee quick look and see how that is. What do you think, guys? That looks nice, like that. I quite like it, it's quite pretty. That needs to go there. Does it? Yep. It sure does. That needs to go there, like that, with, mm, with, 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 with a butterfly, I would probably say. A butterfly? Maybe? about that? Nah. Okay, so finally I have cut myself out a butterfly. He's really cute. And see for speed, rather than putting it back through the die cutting machine, I'm just going to emboss it over the back with an embossing tool, just run it quickly over the back guys and it does the same job sorry if you kind of see what I'm doing right and then take it out this is just a wee spellbinders butterfly There we go. So that's going to go. Put a wee bit of hot glue on it. That's going to go there. Just put hot glue on because it's going on to the hessian. Pop that there. And I've got these beads here. I'm going to take one, two, three, four, five of them. Pop them down the butterfly's body. 
just to make it stand out a wee bit like that Let's see if you can see that there you go and finally i've got these two um stick pins from santoro they're really sweet and i'm going to stick them i like the green because it matches in a bit of the green i'm just going to put a wee bit of hot glue down there and pop them in like that just so that nobody can jag themselves on them and hot glue down this one like that and pop it in here again means nobody will be able to jag themselves on it and I can't even get it in <laughs> oh my gosh no wait a wee minute too much glue on that one and I really want to have two going in so a tiny wee bit of hot glue this time we'll try it going under here there we go there we go so that is the cover what do you think i think it's looking really cute i think the memories just need a wee dulling down with some ink and i think that looks pretty cool there's one wee thing that's annoying me and it's a eye because it's white and i'm just going to put a wee black in there there we go that's better so that is the cover, guys. Then we've done the flip and the two flips. I've just put on some wash yet, it's still not dry. Um, so we will decorate the flips and everything the next time we come back and start doing more pages. But that is it so far. So let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this craft with me. And I'll see you guys all again soon. Bye-bye.